I'm with uh, Fernanda in the Data Light booth, and uh, I guess there are a few prototype products that are going to be released soon. Some uh, release within about a month or so, and some release later on this year. We're going to start with the, I guess, uh, what do you have here? The this is the, is the big brother of the Letzilla. It's the 2.0 okay. LED light. It's small, compact. It's like any data light you can focus it has a big focusing range okay. it's like 20 volt, uh, 20 watts and you can also power it from a battery and be mobile you ha can have a daylight a tungsten or a bicolor version where you can change in between them okay, now, I guess what kind of batteries can you power this with well it, you have like from 6.2 volts until 30 volts or you can like, does data like supply a battery connection of some kind we're gonna be supplying some okay. connection Okay, sounds yeah. good. Uh, I guess now is it so uh, part of part of the idea of the Leadzilla LED is that they are LED. Now are they single color LED or are they you know are they can taller temperature adjustable or how does this work? There's gonna be three different versions. One with just tungsten, one just daylight, okay. and when one where you can go in between both. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and I guess the one that you can go between both though, does mm -hmm. it mean that at tungsten you're at half the power of the single color one or does it mean that you actually have two full like full power no they're not gonna be full power when they are in between because it would be too much heat for the right. for the yeah, chip. one last question about this too like, is it single is it a single point it's point a, or is it a yes it, it's a chip array it's okay. one single and then you have only one shadow and that's what how that was, you can that, that focus was the other question I was gonna ask okay, yeah uh, moving on you have uh, I think okay, we've seen these. But you have upcoming what sort of ninety one? This one is a nine point oh. It's yeah. also about yeah. Yeah. 90 watt and it's also like data light like the 400 series it's, it's gonna be you can use the all the accessories from them I'm just gonna and go to the other side just give me a second yeah all right so 400 series accessories yes and so <laughs> And you can focus it, it has a, a huge focusing range, okay. like it's you now from data light and the color distribution and also the light distribution <laughs> and the control you're accustomed to with the is light. Gonna a, is there going to be a pole operated version of this or do you... Do yes, there are going to be different okay. pole operated and with DMX and this is more for studio because it, it needs a lot of cooling, the, the chips need a lot of cooling so they maintain the color and the life expectancy and so it's not really mobile. This one's more mobile and this one's more for studio and sure we'll have those options. I see. Okay. Uh, moving on, you also have a larger unit here too. Yes, this is a 12.0 okay. and it's uh, the biggest one we're going to have, I guess. In, it's going to be in daylight or in tungsten okay. available. Okay, and but not bicolor. No, we don't think like for the studio you really need that you want more power and more light. Now sorry again how much how powerful is this LED that's in this unit here? Well it takes about 250 watts and well it's it's actually a lot of light. And if I can yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> So you can see in the wall, it's really it's like bleaching out everything that's on this wall. And, and of course, you can <laughs> the one advantage of uh, LED is LED light is that you can dim it without changing your color. So uh, I guess on the topic of color too, like do you do you have any CRI data, like any color rendering index? Data? They're all above ninety. Okay, all above ninety. Yes, that's really important for us. Uh, I guess one last question about this unit too, like why, like so for. I understand it's like a 200, 250 watt LED, but mm -hmm. with such a small lens, like it's about a 10 centimeter lens or so. But why is this fixture so large? It's, it's about cooling. Well, it, it, it needs some space to focus, to, to move the light source. Okay, so it still has that data it, light zoom range. Exactly, so, it okay. has a lot of zoom range. And of course, you also need some cooling on, on the LED. Okay. Else it will die really soon. Can we have a peek inside? Just to look? I think the other one on the other end is probably easier to look at. So. Oh. That opens up like a fancy car.
car. It's gonna be All right. So we're gonna take a close look here. So you got a kind of a heat sink on the top of that fixture there. So that just cools like the, the LED driver. Yeah, the, the chip. Yes, of course. It really needs cooling. Okay. And so and it's got like this huge zoom range here. So is it, is it yeah. four to forty degrees zoom roughly still, or yes. something else? Okay. And. Uh, all passive, so there's no fan. But do you have a version that's we're gonna comfortable? have with just with all, all the little ones, they have no fan yes. at all, uh, all passive cooling. But with this one, we're gonna have two versions okay. one with a big, slow fan, and one a little bit bigger with no fan. Okay, so you can choose. So, this one, rough, this one would be the size of the, the big one without the fan. So, the, the fan version is going to be smaller than this one. No, that. Oh, this is the there's, that's going to happen. still prototype. Okay. Cool. Uh, anyway, Fernando, that's good. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.